Hey there. Always an honor when I can get some time from someone as busy as you. I'm glad we got in touch, cause I got a favor to ask. With Hedda Cole on the run again, it's all hands on deck. That means I've got to go where Mandalore wants me. Otherwise, I'd handle this myself. My friend Lane is back on Runic. Mandalore's got her chasing down all the hidden chain riffraff that stayed behind. You and I both know that getting anything done on that dust ball is a challenge, and Lane doesn't have a lot of resources. But Lane would never ask for help, especially from someone like you. She's about as stubborn as Mandalore. <laughs> Must run in their family. In fact, she'll probably kill me for asking you to back her up, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. So, what do you say? How do you feel about cleaning up some of Hedda's garbage? That's what I'm talking about. One more thing. Last time I was on Lane's bad side, she put adhesive spray in my jetpack's exhaust veins. Took me weeks to get it out. What I'm saying is, it'd be great if you didn't tell Lane it was me who sent you. Anyway, I appreciate you hearing me out on this. See you around. Huh? Look who it is. Shouldn't you be off with Shay, planning her next move against the traitor? Well, you might want to temper your expectations. Shay stuck me with cleanup duty. Thought you might be above that. You're pretty chummy with my cousin. She tell you what I'm doing? Yeah, that's the short of it. The showdown between Shay and Hedda got pretty chaotic. When it was over, a lot of the hidden chain dogs ran off after their master. Shay and the Arbiter, mostly the Arbiter, withdrew all of our people from Runic too. Then, we got word that some of Hedda's soldiers stuck around. They're not big enough for an army, but there's enough that they could clear the way for Hedda to come back. My job is to keep that from happening. But I don't want to just round up some traitors and be done with it. We've been watching them. They're looking for something. I want to find out what it is. No, we can't. Don't know why the traitors picked this rock in the first place. I can't imagine there'd be much left that we haven't blown to bits. But that's what I want you to look into for me. I've got a couple of places I want you to sweep. Look for schematics, data readouts, anything that can tell me why they came here and why they've stayed. I've got to stay back. I'm working on something that I can't get away from. But something tells me that's not going to make much of a difference. Once you've got enough information to start putting the pieces together, let me know.
blasted machine. Hurry up and get those pressure valves working again, damn it. Kerr's waiting on us. What's the rush, Arla? You've got us tearing up water stations and power conduits left and right. Now you want us to fix them? Shut up! Someone's here. Step forward, whoever you are. <laughs> Shay's pet. What are you doing back here? Get lost on your way home? Oya Elite! Let's bring Kerr a trophy he'll never forget. me, Imperial. I never trusted your kind. I won't die by the hand of Shay Vizsla's lapdog. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> well, you got brass. <laughs> you think I'm going to tell you? Is that supposed to scare me?
That was quick. You certainly live up to your lofty reputation. Shay is lucky to count you among her supporters. Interesting. I wasn't aware that Shay could inspire such loyalty. I've always said that Shay's biggest strength is the people she surrounds herself with. You continue to prove me right. Let's see what you found out there. Looks like the Hidden Chain built their infrastructure on the back of an old mining operation. A really unlucky mining operation. Hedda had everything she could ever need already waiting for her. Water, power generators, digging equipment. But it looks like you took out the last of it. Would have been nice for us. But hey, at least we know the traders can't use it again. Find anything else interesting? Other than the prisoner I didn't ask you to bring back here? I know her. She'd die before talking to us. And now, I've got one more mouth to feed. At least now we know who drew the short straw when Hedda asked people to stay behind. Sounds like the stragglers are Clan Harangir. They're old money, with an even older name. Clan Harangir claims they're descended from Cad Harangir, an old Mandalorian god of destruction. Decades of that kind of notoriety, power, and credits have given them quite the inflated self-image. They consider it an insult if you don't recognize their prestigious history. They consider it a threat if you don't give them the respect they demand. Must be why they switched sides. Shay didn't kiss their boots like the other clan leaders did. Can't think of any other reason. Shay's never been one to coddle such fragile personalities. It was only a matter of time before some of the more... Entitled clans went the way of the hidden chain. But I still don't understand why Clan Harangir would agree to cleaning up Hedda's mess. They'd think an order like that was below them. No, they must be after something else. Something Hedda might not even know about. There's a particular area they've been circling for a while, full of derillium deposits. Maybe that's where their prize is. You check there, and I'll keep looking through the data files you brought me, see if there's something I'm missing. By the time you come back, I'll have more of this figured out. Hopefully.
Don't have time for pleasantries. I need you back out there. Now. I poured over every bit of data you brought me. Every readout, every message, every schematic. It all comes back to one thing. You know what a basilisk is? A basilisk droid? Basilisk war droids are like nothing else. We can ride them, form bonds with them. They're like beasts, but better. They can carry mines. Cannons, missile launchers, plasma generators. They're dangerously beautiful. All the data files you took from the Harangir traders paint a very clear picture. Whatever they're doing out there, it has something to do with basilisk droids. All that digging they've been doing? Could be the ore under Runic's surface is useful for building the droids. Could be something else. One of the schematics you brought me showed a clear path through their tunnel systems. I sent some people to scout the tunnels, thought maybe they could find something that would tell us for sure what the Harangiers had been up to. They never came back. Tried raising them on comms. I get nothing but silence back. I know this place isn't exactly easy to get around, not to mention all the wildlife that's riled up by us being here. But none of that should be a problem for my people. They're Mandalorians. Someone got to them. You can handle that on your own, right? Even with all the data you brought me, there are still a lot of hiding places out there. I'll stay back and try to pinpoint where the traitors might be holed up. But you can start looking where I last heard from my soldiers. I'll send you the coordinates. And just... <sighs> if you can't help them, make sure Clan Harangir pays. Like I thought, something happened to them. Look around. Maybe the traitors got sloppy when they attacked my people, dropped something that leads back to their lair.
Raiders are everywhere. See anything useful? Warehouse they mentioned. There's one on these schematics that fits the description. That's a lot of foot traffic. I'd put good credits down on that being their base of operations. Keep my mouth shut while you get in there. Say something, if things go belly up. Get out! You're interfering with my work. 
I'm sure Shay, your pathetic excuse for an ally, embraces such insolence. I do not care for it. Look at what your interference has cost me. My droids are in desperate need of repair, and because of you, I had to abandon some prime machinery. Now I have to look elsewhere, and finding such irreplaceable specimens will be difficult. I hope you don't. That coward can't get away with this. The sick Demogulkas got his hands on Basilisk war droids. A Mandalorian should know how valuable it is to have something like that. But that's not good enough for Kerr Harangir. He's found others and brought them here, where no one else can see what he's doing. Even his precious field marshal. He's stripping parts, metal, whatever he can from the weaker droids. He experiments on them, and their suffering means nothing, as long as he can make the others more powerful. We tried to get to the ones in that other room, but something's wrong with the door. Wasn't enough power to get it open. We need to get back to Lane. She should know what's going on. Oh, secure! What is that? made it back. Along with everyone else. Heard something interesting from one of my people. There were basilisk droids in that warehouse. You let them die. There's always a way, if you want it badly enough. If my soldiers would have died, it would have been an honorable death. They would have been celebrated. They know this. There are already so few of those droids left. To know that we could have saved some of them... <sighs> Forget about it. Out of all of Hedda's bootlickers, I can't believe Kerr Harangir is the one you ran into. Yeah, that's him. He's the sorry Hutun that calls himself Clan Harangir's leader. He does whatever he wants, no matter how dishonorable. And his name and his money pay for everyone to ignore it. No one's stopping whatever twisted things he's doing to those basilisk droids. No one cares that he's putting an end to something so irreplaceable. <sighs> no more. Got some sensors I've been tinkering with. The range on them is far enough for what we need. You get these set up, and if anything leaves this planet carrying so much as a whiff of Kerr's stench, we'll know where. Whatever else happens here, I'm putting Kerr Harangir in the ground.
We've been watching the sky since Kerr Harangir was stupid enough to show his face. To you, of all people. Nothing belonging to the traitors has left the planet's surface. No cargo ships, no personal shuttles, nothing. He knows we're after him, but he's too arrogant to even make a run for it. He's still here. And that's the last mistake he'll ever make. We do things same as last time. I'll guide you, and you hunt him down. Don't lecture me on things you don't understand. I'm... I need... Basic. How do I say this? I can't face Kerr. Not because I'm afraid or reluctant. I am angry. I am vengeful. I have blazing hot rage boiling under my skin. Years ago, Kerr Harangir challenged my brother to a duel. Or some perceived slight against his famous name. Kerr used nothing but underhanded tricks. Like he does with everything else. There was no honor in the way he fought. He killed my brother, and no one called out Kerr's deception. Typical for a Harangir. When I think of Kerr's self-righteous smirking, while my brother lay dead, robbed of his good name, I can't see straight. My hate for Kerr is like thick, black smoke. I can't fight him if I can't see through it. Florentier, thank you. I have some ideas where that snake might be hiding. Just need you to go and see which of my hunters is right. There can't be much left for Kerr to hide behind now. You've put down most of his lackeys. And you've destroyed most of what could have made his stay comfortable. Hope Kerr has enjoyed his little visit to Runic. It's about to become indefinite. Finding him in the first place we looked was too much to hope for. either.
Finally! I think we're on the right track now. Not sure what's going. Getting a lot. All the static. Well, look who it is. What a surprise. For all I've heard about you, you're not very bright. Giving me this kind of head start was foolish. With all that time, I was able to make a lot of explosives. Pretty impressive, considering what little material I had at my disposal. Look around. I left no surface untouched. And if you don't leave, Boom. A small price to pay for my continued existence. And there will be others. Stronger. More powerful. Oh, I don't think you should do that. Making a huge mistake. How dare you? I am Herengir. You are nothing. Try and stop this. Ha! You call that a weapon? Why won't you die? Itur Jatnitur! Asatir Amor! Hurry! Hurry! Time's running out. I don't plan on dying in here, but you're more than welcome to stick around. There you are. Are you all right? You went dark on me, so I assumed the worst. When I couldn't reach you, I started feeling guilty for throwing you in the path of my problems. So I headed out to back you up. I know you didn't need it, but with Kerr involved, who knows what stupid trick he would have pulled. Shay would have my head if something happened to you on my watch. But you're still in one piece. So are those basilisk droids I saw on the way in. I know you couldn't save the others. But even with these, Besalik, it's a miracle. Can't think of any other word to describe this. Don't I know it? Starting to think you might be some kind of lucky charm. As for Kerr, I'll just have to be patient. For now, the fact that he's probably kicking himself for leaving these droids behind is good enough. What the? 
Look at it. Never seen one so small. What the hell kind of experiments was Kurt doing? You know, one this size might be something you could handle. No promises. Not yet. Don't want to get your hopes up. Need to see if anything can be done first. Let me get this little one back to camp and see what I can do. We'll meet you there. Did my best to get this little ECOD cleaned up, but we've still got a long way to go before it's running at full strength. It's going to take a lot of time, and a lot of work. You up for that kind of commitment? You've got a lot to give your attention to, but I promise, if you want it, nothing's ever going to be worth as much as this Basilisk War Droid. You've earned it, after everything you've done. Anyway, it's going to take me a while to get everything online. I need parts, tools... And I'm not ripping them from other Basilisk droids. And I need your help. I'll let you know. Get ready to make something special. You've done well. 